Hey guys, welcome back to Beeman MTB. Today we'll be installing a fork and race face cranks with a RockShock Recon fork on a 2015 Scott Aspect 740. And we'll probably start off with doing the fork. And if you haven't seen the teardown on this bike, it came with a Suntour air fork, which I weighed that and that fork was more than this frame. And so we went out and got this uh, RockShock Recon air fork with a straight steer because that's what this hit this bike is and it has lockout and then the air chamber is here and then to slow it down and make it like respond like make the, the fork go up and down either slower or faster you just adjust this little knob here at the bottom and the crank set that we have is this race face one with a 28 tooth chain ring and uh, it's a 175 mil crank and the bottom bracket is right here and the tools I will be using is a 10 mil, an 8 mil, a 5 mil and a 4 mil and um, I'll be using obviously grease to install the stuff and um, I'll start off by installing the fork. And this fork off camera when I got it I already cut down the steer tube put the crown race on it and then put the star nut inside of there with my uh, park tool star nut installer tool and I cut it down with a hacksaw because if you cut it down with a hacksaw you don't have to file the top which is kind of nice Just goes like that. And what I'll do is stop the fork. So, get my spacers. Stand with the top cap and pull. Put that in. And then grab my 5 mil because this bolt here, the pinch bolt's a 5 mil. But for some reason, all these other bolts that hold the bars and stuff, they're all four mils. For what reason? I don't know, but they just are. You'd think on a stem they'd make them all the same size, but oh. And this bike will have a few more series on, like installing the drivetrain and the wheels and the brakes and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, the drivetrain I haven't figured one out yet, so we're just waiting on what drivetrain I'm going to pick. And 
also when you're installing the bottom bracket or any bolts for that matter you want to make sure that you're not cross threading them because we won't thread in by hand that means the threads are getting screwed up And if you want to see what this bike looks like when it's fully complete, because it'll probably be on my Instagram before it's on YouTube. And my Instagram is at BeanMTV, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching me install a fork and crank set on this 2015 Scott Aspect 740. And uh, if you want to keep following the story on this bike after this video goes up, next week we'll have, or maybe the following week after that, I'm not too sure on what drivetrain I'm getting yet, like I said. So once I get that all figured out, I'll get that, then we'll fire up another video. And that'll be installing the derailleur, chain, shifter, brakes, wheels, basically just finishing this thing up and yeah go check out my instagram bmanmtv if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and yeah i'll see you next time peace